So let's talk about something serious. Let's talk about five things that people totally hate about kayak fishing. This totally sucks for kayak fishing, but I'm gonna tell you how to fix those problems. Now, let's start with the first one. And I'm here outside on purpose, filming this video right now with the conditions that we have right now. It's windy, the sun is going out. There are things right here that you cannot control. Uh, guys, there you go. Gonna pass by, I'm gonna make a sound. It's gonna destroy the audio. I can't control that. But luckily, this one, when it comes to kayak fishing, you could control it. The number one thing that sucks about kayak fishing is boat positioning, controlling your boat. And it's not just kayak fishing, let's face it. It's any type of boating, fishing, to anything. You want your bait there, but the current, and the, the wind, God knows what else, the, your friend gets in there, like where you want the bait to be, and it takes it away, and you got problems. You can't, you can't fish there where you want to put the bait. But when it comes to kayaking, there are many things that you can do. Number one, anchoring system. There are many oceans that you can use to anchor yourself properly and maintain that boat position. Let's talk about them. Number one, you can use a normal weight. Now, when you use a weight and you drop it and the current moves you around, huh, that's a problem. Also, you don't wanna be carrying heavy stuff. So the other thing you can do is you can carry a little park and pull, like the jack attack one that I use a lot. Now, that you just put in the mud and it's gonna hold you in place if the floor is moody. But if the, it's a hard rock, you cannot really use that. So you need something like a cloth anchor. Here's the other thing, there's other options. You could use a trolling motor. You could anchor down electronically. The oceans are endless. And the best part is that you could use a combination of all those anchoring systems, including the fancy power pole micro anchor, which is like, I don't know, like a thousand dollars with the battery because i highly recommend even though i love amp outdoor lithium batteries by the way guys you could buy the best lithium batteries there is amp outdoors use coupon code alice five to save you five percent i love them and you could get a 12 volt battery and rig the micro anchor pole with it and use it like that but i recommend you buy the one that comes with the micro anchor pole because it's a seamless process, it works together. You don't have to worry about cables or anything like that. I totally recommend that even though it's expensive, but it's worth the money. Now, what you can do, if you have the banker anchor pole on the back, you could get one of those thick from Yak Attack and you can anchor yourself pretty much. You're not moving, right? You quickly get there, push that button down, you anchor down, the boat is gonna start moving, sliding to the left or right, depending on the current, what you do, you stick it down. Another thing you can do, you could take a rope and you put a clamp on it and you could clamp yourself to the mangroves or any type of vegetation that you have nearby. There's many oceans. My favorite, and this is why I love the Autopilot 120 or any kayak that has a trolling motor with a GPS control system, is that with a push of a button, you could anchor yourself down. And you could even set those systems up to kind of like spot hop you in different places. That's why I love fishing with those motors, not only they have anchoring system, but also autopilot, which is gonna take you from one point to the other without having to worry about anything. You don't have to really do, do anything. So you have so many options that you can use to anchor yourself properly. And I'm gonna do a dedicated video about anchoring. And everything that I'm talking about, I'm gonna take you through. And it's gonna be a video on the water, me showing you how to do that. Now, let's jump into number two, the problem, the, the second thing about kayak fishing that totally sucks. Let's face it guys, kayaks can be super extremely heavy, especially the good quality kayaks, the one that you want to take kayak fishing. We're not talking about little sit inside kayaks that you could just grab with one hand and it's are 40 pounds and you could walk it to the water. No, we're talking about kayaks that weigh like 200 pounds and you don't even include the seat yet, right? Kayaks are super heavy, but what can you do? What can you do if you want to have a fancy kayak that is, let's say a 136 autopilot from Old Town, super heavy kayak, or a Pearl Angler 14 from, what's that, Hobies? <laughs> and you want to take all the toys, uh, the trolling motor in the, fr in the front, the, the, wait, wait, the trolling motor in the front, yes, and the Turquito on the back, and you want to take all that stuff with you. What, what can you do? I mean, the solution is simple. It's a trailer, and I recommend Malone trailers. They have the best trailers there are. They have so many trailers, so many ways to customize them. You could get like little tiny trailers that weigh nothing to big trailers 
that you carry six, seven kayaks on them, probably more. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. Check, check the, the description for the trailers. But anyway, Malone makes amazing trailers. There is two brand new mechanics in here by the way guys if you want to buy one of these kayaks let me know and if you're gonna take a heavy kayak and you're getting up there in age i recommend you totally use a trailer and don't feel sad about it dude enjoy it you know you want to have your big kayak heavy just make it easy for yourself get a nice trailer take it on the water enjoy fishing forget about the haters forget about the lookers just do you look your back is gonna thank you later and also, if you make this really nice setup, you could launch from a trailer pretty much anywhere. You could just park on the side of the road like we did when we went to the Keys and take that kayak and put it on the water. So the solution to a heavy kayak is a really nice trailer, but it doesn't end there. You should also add a nice quality kayak cart. And Malone has a really nice kayak cart. That uh, ATR, forget the name, I'm gonna link it below. I'm gonna show you some footage of it as I'm talking about it. And also there's a lot of other good kayak cars out there. Like Yakata just came up with a new one that looks amazing. It's really impressive and they built it that you could customize it to pretty much fit any kayak. That's epic. And of course the trusted Sea Talk. Who can forget about the Sea Talk? One of my favorites. And I haven't really used this one, if ever, but the the one from uh, Wilderness System, that one is a good one too. People love it. But I have used something similar. I still think the Malone cart, even though it's the craziest looking and the bulkiest, is probably the best one if you have a super heavy boat, kayak, or something like that. Like, think about it. You get the kayak off the trailer, you put it on the cart, you just move it out to the water. You basically don't even have to make an effort. If you do this right, and you know the sweet spot where to put the kayak cart, you got this, bro. You got it. Now, let's move to the third thing that totally sucks about kayak fishing. You may, you may ask yourself, what do you got? What are you doing there, dude? Well, I'm hiding from the sun and also the wind and everything else. You, you heard how windy it was earlier in this video. That's why I'm here. Oh, behind me, I got my nice little toothy. It's a big kayak. Uh, not really, but I mean, if you want to learn more about the toothy, uh, just Google it. Alias toothy and you'll see it. Anyways, the third thing about talking about space is that people think that you have basically no space on a kayak that you cannot go fishing like you do on a boat if you have a kayak and that's the biggest freaking lie in the planet that's what people think sucks about kayak fishing but that's not true look you could get the right accessories like a yak attack black pack and you could put so many holes on that that you could take more rods on that 12 foot kayak that you could probably do on your 16 foot jump boat or your bass boat you could take so many shh that you don't even have the time to use it. Four years, okay? You could take 10 rods, probably more, on your kayak if you want to. You could put a nice ice cooler in the front. And you could put a nice cooler behind the seat, like this blue dog cooler that I use a lot, for your drinks. So you don't mix your catch with your drink. You could also make it even better, dude. You could use Yakataka accessories all over this boat to carry your paddles park and pole, your camera mount. I mean, take a look at this kayak, how I set up with accessories from Yak Attack. It's, this is a lie. Get yourself a really nice 12 foot kayak that is about 36 inches wide. And it has a lot of accessory tracks. If it doesn't, you could add it yourself and you could customize the hell out of it with amazing Yak Attack products. Or Rail Blasa or whoever, I don't care. Nobody's paying for this video that you watching. And it, yeah, if you use the affiliate links, I do get credit for it, but nobody is sponsoring this video. So I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart what I use. I, anyways, even if they sponsor it, I will still say it. Because it's my channel, dude. It's my channel and I tell you what I want to tell you. Period. All right. So. You can make it work, dude. It's a lie. You have a lot of space on your kayak. Let's talk about the fourth thing that sucks about kayak fishing. And this one is true for many kayaks. Like if you go to Walmart right now and you get one of those seat inside kayaks, yeah, you're gonna flip. It's not that stable. If you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna flip. So don't do it. If you do do it, make sure you take a PFD with you and you go with a friend and you know it's a safe area, right? Because you don't want to go crazy and be one of those casualties that people find in the news. So take care of yourself and know the limits of your boat. And let's talk about that. See, kayaks could be super stable, but the truth is anything flips. Come on, you could flip a 40 foot boat if the right waves hit you. You could even flip one of those 
I don't know what you call that, like merchant boats, uh, container boats. You can flip it if you get the right wave, okay? Nature is that bad. But there are things that you can do when it comes to being safe on the water and not getting an unstable boat. Number one is get yourself a nice boat that is stable. If you, For the most part, if you get a 12 foot, 10 to 12 foot boat that is 34 to 36 inches wide with a W hole, that kayak is going to be super stable unless you're 450 pounds. Come on, know yourself, right? If you're a big guy or girl, get yourself on the right kayak that is gonna be able to hold you. That's very important. That's why we got sizes, we got different styles, so you gotta go and find out what works for you. Now, I will say this, whatever kayak you get, a lot of the stability that comes with a kayak comes from you. Learning your boat, learning how it behaves, and getting used to it. I don't know, I have developed a, 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 a sense that I know what I'm gonna flip and so how I just move my body in a weird way and I'm, I don't flip. There have been cases where it's been very close of me flipping over and I didn't. Because somehow I was able to move. And I think what that's what you should do. When you get a kayak, you should take it out in a safe area with a friend, wear your PFD, flip it on purpose, get back on it, flip it again, get familiar with your boat. Know the limits of your boat. And you keep doing that and you're gonna develop sea legs. And I don't care how old you are, you should totally try. You need to get familiar with kayaks. If you can't for whatever reason, and a do you cannot do the physical thing, I mean, I really consult a doctor, check a professional, uh, don't listen to me. But if you're a normal person, I recommend you go and truly get familiar with a kayak. It may save your life. Of course, I'm gonna leave the best for last. The number one thing that sucks about kayak fishing is how much those freaking kayaks cost. My God, an old town autopilot is like $4,000. The 120, the 136 is like $4,600 or something like that. Just two or three years ago when they came out they were like six hundred dollars less well the 136 the one the 120 is sort of about the same price but you get the idea the salty pdl is like twenty three hundred dollars and that was eighteen hundred bucks prices are crazy for kayaks so if you want a quality kayak like a hobby 360 five thousand seven hundred dollars crazy price but there are things that you can do you could build a nice kayak rig yourself doing diy projects I love putting motors on kayaks. I done that. My first ever kayak was a Lifetime Sport Fisher. I think I spent $500 on the kayak. I bought a trolley motor for like $70 and I rig up a system where I was able to steer with my feet. And everywhere I went, people were like, oh my God, how can you do that? So I had hands-free fishing on my kayak before it got sexy. What was that, 2013? I don't know, but the point is you can make a nice rig yourself. You could get a trolling motor brand new from Amazon at Water Snake for like around $150. You could get a cheap battery to power that motor because it doesn't take a lot of energy to power that motor. And you could go three and a half to four miles an hour depending on the kayak. And you could set it up to go hands-free fishing. And you could set up uh, your own anchoring system without spending a lot of money to make it work to anchor yourself with whatever you want. You can make it work. You don't have to have the fancy whistle all in one kayak you could just get a nice kayak that doesn't cost a lot of money and build it up to feed your fish needs or you could just save the money and buy one that is turnkey of course i didn't cover everything that totally sucks with kayak fishing that's why we got the comment section below and we also have other videos in this channel that we discussed that already uh, this is for a uh, this is a different version of it i would say uh, but anyways go and check them out go watch them and i'll, I'll wait for you here don't forget to like this video. See ya.